Oh, can you hear me? Excellent. Uh, thank you. Welcome to tuning in to Cliff Row Wrestling. Uh, it is Haas and Chris Cruz at the desk. So, Indeed. Uh, Good to be Mr. back. Chris Cruz joining us after uh, having his 
Actually, what? I don't know what the hell's going on. You got a mesh layer tonight, yeah? Yeah, I do, actually. Indeed. Of course, we just had uh, Mr. Rambo taking on Mr. Striker. A hard hit matchup. Went, went the distance. Went about 12 minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Now, of course, we got Naomi taking on Miko Satamora. Clash of styles I don't think we ever expected to see out here in uh, Clutch Pro Wrestling. But as we say, expect the unexpected. Indeed so. But I'll be ready for anything. What about yourself? How goes the mental preparation facing a man like uh, Minoru Suzuki? I'll be honest, it's a challenge. <clears throat> the dude knows all the ways to win. He knows all the fight styles. Gotta watch out for it. Just gotta try my best. And it is quite comparative to, well, Miko Satomura, almost the male and female versions of each other. <laughs> but, uh, of course, Minoru Suzuki known to take any means necessary to win. Of course. How do you, how do you prepare for someone that's uh, as well versed in the, the hardcore stylings as Suzuki? <laughs> Yeah. He has that down. I also have that down. It's not like I don't my I don't know my way around hardcore myself. If you know me, you know I'm into that too. And Dave, we saw you go quite hard and heavy on Hangman and Page in both of your encounters. Mm-hmm. And pretty extreme fire on tables and whatnot. Mm, someone's been doing the homework. Indeed, also watch all the matches for Chris for Wrestling. Keep yourself in the loop. Mm, that's good. Likewise. Nora, Naomi going for quite an interesting looking submission right now. Oh. Yeah, quick win. Uh, Nora. Oh, God damn. Now, I even I'm confusing them. <laughs> I've actually done my work in Japan. Of course, we've been around for a long as I have. Uh, of course, we had one of our new commentators almost try and jump the desk earlier, uh, Mr. Love. Oh, yeah? And that, that may have been off mic, luckily, but... Uh, quite an entertaining matchup. Of course, he was there for the CCW recording, so when that goes live, you'll actually... Here, our newest commentator on the fold. But indeed, this match pretty well paced the moment, both them. So no, I mean, feeling the out process of the world. Course, uh, been hearing about some of your exploits outside uh, Clips Pro, putting oh, yes. someone through their uh, putting someone through their paces. Is that the case? Whom may you be addressing? Because I mess around with a lot of people. Uh, Mr. Mo. Oh, God, the moon cow. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yes. Yeah, Mo, 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 yeah. No, he he just wants to get my attention. He wants to get under my skin just so I give in to him, just so I give him his match that he wants so badly. Of course, he knows oh. he has to beat the best. That's me. I'm not going to give it to him just for free. Reversal there. A repeat Ooh, of what we saw earlier. This time reversed as Miko was able to flip off the back from the fireman position, but no, even after the Death Valley driver, he was able to kick out. Such resiliency. Indeed, Naomi, a quite impressive athletic competitor when you give her the time. Oh, yeah. 
Edge of Sam. Of course, Nico Samantamora, no one sludge, current UK champion, but is yet to hold gold here in the Clip Show Wrestling. Oh, that was a bad move. Meeting on the outside of uh, Miko. Straight into a Falcon Arrow. Well, Miko not going to keep it outside for long. Throwing her. Ooh. The throw not exactly going to plan. <laughs> throwing her straight into the stairs. Maybe Miko being a little bit darker than usual. It seems that way. No, she does head straight back inside. Doesn't continue the assault. Letting Naomi come back to the ring on her own, off her own will. just taunting Naomi now it seems. This time going in for the pin. Oh! Two! Oh, I'm getting a two count. Close <clears throat> hold. Of course, what would you consider to be the uh, deciding factor in this match, you reckon? Repeat that. I only caught half of what you said. Get a better mic next time, Hoss. Down. I've been using this since the 60s, it's been over a lot, but I can tell. I'm saying what's 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 the key factor to believe in this match? To success? For either competitor, yeah. Oh now Miko said a more lining her up. Could this be the case of success? Oh, 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 oh an arm protection in the back of the head. Tut tut. I mean, not trying any signs of life could be out like a light as Mika goes for the count. One, two, three. Oh. No more keys to success needed as Mika Satamora takes her out with that float over heel strike. Well deserved victory. Of course, the realm of the rising sun, known for their impressive striking ability. Oh, yes. Clean heel strike to the back of the head. That's going to put you put your lights out real quick. Naomi really, you know, proved her own against them. She did well. Indeed. Very, was very impressive in that match. Survived the Death Valley driver and was able to escape it a handful of times. But Mika said more just got the little bit of edge and experience. The final boss proves oh, yeah. to win this round. Can't say I'm surprised. The experience does play a big part. Quite impressive performance by both women as we head to our next matchup. And we have got a death match stipulation. It is Sammy Callahan taking on Tommy Demise. Oh, I do um, not think will, I want to see this. This match will be contested under death match rules rendered until one competitor is unable to continue. Lord, I, I, I'm not prepared for this. Callahan, a bigger. Bigger man here in this match, but Tommy Demise known to use everything at his disposal to pick up wins. Should be a very interesting matchup. Of course, this match was made when the commissioner, uh, looking to perhaps get some forgiveness from Tommy Demise after the rest of the commission failed to tag him in during their tag contest against you, actually. Oh. Uh, remember when it was Ashes to Ashes facing off against three members of the commission. 
Oh yes. As they were building, building to uh, TJC versus GAV. Yes, come back now. to me now. Indeed. Uh, Chris Cruz's memory is very, very bad when this is beyond the point of 3 a.m. Of course, uh, broadcasting from England. Indeed. My flight was delayed. Which actually does mean that we will be getting... <laughs> oh, wait, suffering from jet lag, you mean? All right, okay. Exactly. I was going to say, wait... Wait, did you did you fly Minoru Suzuki out to you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, bro. Went to the airport. Delayed. Then had to get another flight into connecting. Had to had to get another flight. Took me about five hours. Oof. Tired. Of course, uh, a belated congratulations on actually winning the Equinox titles as well. Thank you. Of course, uh, unlike some of the other Aussies in this company. Yeah. The Texans actually show a great deal of respect for those that ran the else themselves to win championships. So, my respect for that. Okay, thank you, Hoss. And, uh, that takes a lot to win a championship. It takes ten times more to retain. Oh, uh, indeed, do you so. Know, do you know who's looking to be the first challengers? Your question and answer is no I don't and quite frankly I don't care we'll keep the tiles we'll defend we already know we're the best so uh, we've not done it before indeed Elsewhere, actually do have some experience holding hold tag titles although that was with the other member of your three-man faction. Indeed. Well, we do see a lot of factions actually here in Eclipse Pro, such as the Dragon and the Four, and, well, it does seem that Colorado Carnage is trying to make their way here as well. Does, uh, does Ashes and Havishus have plans to expand? Mmm. It seems though you want to scoop. I'll give you well, a scoop. You're trying to make conversation. <laughs> well, I'll say this. Ashes to Ashes currently is only a three-man faction, and I do not see any expansion anytime soon. Unless we need it, which we probably won't. That's fair enough. Of course, under the free road rule, any... Any of the three can defend those tag titles, as we've seen previously. Indeed. It's actually quite interesting. Um, there's only been two tag champions. But I've seen one man actually, via Freeburg rules, be able to defend it twice. Oh, records twice. I mean, well, technically via the Freeburg rule, now... Mm -hmm. Daniel Cole actually has two reigns as the title champ as the tag champion. As he was part of Blood Moon before being kicked out yeah. by Pat Downs, and is now part of Ash to Ashes, where yourself and TJC have earned the titles. Indeed. That's what I like about Ashes to Ashes. We all have roots within Ethers. We all have our stories. Looks like Tommy Demise is ready to start setting up the playground here. Oh god, here we go. Oh, is Callahan saying no? Is he going to grab a chair, perhaps? I don't know where he's going to. A lot going on. And here we go.
Oh, Callahan just lowered hmm. Lawrence on the outside. Todd Rise bit, bit, probably the deathmatch specialist in the promotions that I've been lucky enough to commentate with. Of course, having a deathmatch with Timothy Thatcher early in his career. And then having a deathmatch with. With just about everyone. Uh, GAV, another one. Yeah. Actually, winning a spot in the in the commission via that, crossing the commissioner. Yeah. Now looking at death match with and just as mad. Ooh. Sam Callahan. Pulling out the ladder now. That's the thing with death matches, unpredictable. Totally and utterly unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna come under the ring, you don't know what people are gonna bring to the fire, and you also don't know how badly injured both men could be. Dude, I would not be surprised to hear them be put on the injury report after a match. Oh yeah, safe to say. A lot of things now set up in the ring. You gotta think of it like this, you got two of the most ooh, dangerous and just utterly careless people in Eclipse right now. These guys don't care, they are just out to get that W. They don't care how they do it, with, with what they used, if it's a chair or their hands, they'll get it. Well, Tony DeWise. Whoa. Taking the legs out of A lot of things seem to be set up for future thing as Tommy DeWise drags him down the ramp. Care of the world for Callahan. Wait, are they heading backstage? Oh no, don't bother the freaking locker room with us. We're gonna start throwing hands. Oh, straight into the table. <clears throat> oh, Tommy Device setting him up. Uh oh. Oh, Callahan through the table. God, yeah, we may need a medic. Yeah, we need a psychiatrist, more like. <laughs> I would agree. Is already cracking into the locker room. Finds a bin. Looks like he might be setting to take out the trash. Oh, it breaks the trash can over his back. Oh, he's found another trash can. Cooking to do the oh, same. They get the trash twice. I don't know where if Eclipse Management gets all this trash from. Eclipse Management must really like Kamato. <laughs> I get that. I get hmm. that reference. God, they signed him twice in one night. Jesus. Oh, that's the way. Just absolutely 
better than Callahan now. I really have sympathy for fellow wrestlers, but oof. Kind of feeling sorry for Callahan right now. Of course, he knows exactly what happens. He's got a briefcase now. Could be giving him the business. Oh, God. I don't suppose there's any money in there. Money in the money in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, throwing in the cards. Oh, uh, driving him head first. Oh, Jesus Christ! Now this is going too far. Oh, well, now they're. Yeah, I'm getting back into this fight now. Well, that's all I see. Offense, head. offense. Yeah. Maya's maybe taking a tactical retreat here. Is that John Cena I see in the background? I can't see him. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Not even thrown for the distance there. Oh, I think Tommy Demise spotted another chair. Oh, I hear the sound on that. Freaking heck, it's a crack. Kind of nice. Walking back with the chair now. Oh, John Cena and interview number 305. Mr. Little Boy. That's funny. <laughs> He's still just bashing that one. He's really around backstage. Oh, catching another stiff elbow. Oh, just train blows. Jesus, this is just a unsafe work environment. I mean, heck, we have to prepare back here. There's a fight back here. Thank God I'm far away from this. Gonna have to be out soon. How could he? I mean, it could be heading back to the arena. Good God, looks that way. Thank God. Don't want blood spilt up the walls. Yeah, Callahan more busted open than busted open radio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that was funny. I'll give you that one, horse. <laughs> Just fighting their way back to the arena. I arena. The crowd. Making fun of my accent, boy. Huh? Making fun of my accent. Yeah, the accent's great. God damn it. Damn it, I gave you a compliment. Wait, the ring's been cleared of all the debris. That goddamn referee. Yeah, what a stooge. Should sack him. Is that right? I would want us to take a pain, no mind. Looks like it's a ladder or clock. Both men must and be also, really hustling right now. And it's time for tables. Wait, what you say? I said both men must be really hurting right now. I only imagine. Callahan slowing the recovery there. Whoa, we're out of the pile driver. Oh, cracks Callahan. Did. Jesus. Could 
be calling for Callahan to join him up on the ladder. Oh! Oh! I don't think Tommy Demise flangled that perfectly. Callahan, he went back first through a flaming table. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. And Tommy Demise, no care for his own life, going off the top. Oh, oh, oh crack on the spot. God. No. Oh. Thank God I wasn't hooked in this shit. Oh, God, I can't even feel my own back anymore after that. Are you sure it's that or your age, Charles? God. Back first. <laughs> Through a flaming table and decides, hey, I'm not done. I'm gonna do a shooting star press off the top and crack a man's ribs into pieces. Callahan is in a bad way. Tommy Demise, no pain, no gain, wins that match. Christ. God. God damn, if that doesn't go into the bloody leagues for the best finishes in a clip for Wrestling history, I don't know what to will. Of course, uh, Chris Cruz is going to run backstage. He's Hold on. He's going to go get ready for his match. Minoru Suzuki as well. So, uh, if Chris Cruz is in any condition to join us after his match, I'm sure he'll be back. If not, I think <laughs> think he might be in the medical tent. Yeah, we're gonna get hit this match. We'll see it get underway. Minoru Suzuki coming out at his own pace. Of course, no one tells this man what to do. The system. Chris Cruz coming out. One of the flashiest entrances in Eclipse Pro. Probably one of my favorites. Chris Cruz. Everyone says this man has bad rap, but I tell them the goddamn wrong. Chris Cruz is a peak level competitor. Although I did say to me, he was mentioned in previous to the start, he may be looking to avenge his first loss here in Eclipse Pro Wrestling after dealing with Hangman Page and the Young Bucks. Cody Rhodes. His first loss, of course, being to none other. 
than Kota Ibushi. The dark star. Of course, previously having a match with the dark stars. Close time friend. And now new ally, the dark rock star, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Whoa, went for something there. Minoru Suzuki just a bit more wise to the tricks. Oh! Oh, palm strike right through the core of Suzuki. Not a lot you can do when you've got to match up with someone so much larger and stronger. Oh, huge bomb. There we go. Oh, Minoru Suzuki not even staying down for a first count. Fuck that noise. The show me stay. And here in the show me stay, of course, it's none other than Suzuki saying, show me what you got, Cruz. Well, that's probably yelling in Japanese. I don't know the Japanese for it, but... Shots there. Went down the hard cam. Oh, it drops him head first. This takes a lot of inspiration. Oh, popped him up. And around and down. Could that be it? Uh, I'll have to actually ask Cruz after this match what he calls that move. But Suzuki falling right into the trap there. Could be looking for it. Clean. Swing down. Gotta wonder if he has a name for that as well, of course. Oh, probably known. He's the one Angel, but Suzuki not staying down for it. This crew's in rage now. Again, Chris Cruz gets Suzuki up. Walks to the middle of the ring. Oh, pushes him up. Electric chair. And down. That's got to be it. One, two, three. Chris Cruz is the victor. Pretty comfortable win there for Cruz. Probably is in good enough condition to rejoin us here at the desk. Should he wish to. A match I get to see, celebrate for a bit. That's one of the hardest men in Japanese wrestling, the Japanese legend, Suzuki. Chris celebrating here. What a win. Keep the straight on at all times. Here we go. We'll head to our next match. Now we got the debuting Zach Dillinger taking on Bobby Roode. Now 
Uh, Mr. Cruz, you still there? Can't really see you. Bit blind. Oh, God, right. I am back. And what a dominant performance there against Minoru Suzuki. You see that, yeah? That is why Indeed. I'm the best. I don't know if you heard me from the, the, the desk. He did a pretty interesting uh, swinging driver as well as the one winged angel. I was wondering if you had names for your variants of those moves. Oh, now that's a question, and I did not hear you. I was too locked in to winning my match. So, Indeed. as for names, that's yet to come. Fair enough, very interesting movesets you do have indeed. Of course, not I'm very complex. Now, Ferris, now, Bobby Roode coming out. Full of confidence. It's been a while since we've seen this entrance of his. Indeed, it has been. Sad times. Was trying to capture the, some of that magic tonight against the debuting Zach Dillinger. Oh, this shall be interesting. I've kicked this guy's ass so many times. Let's see if Mr. Rude can replicate that. Indeed. now. Zach Dillinger making his way to the ring. Very interesting. Pretty plain get up he's got going on. Something about it feels very familiar. Just a tad. Of course, it takes a lot of inspiration from the one known as CM Punk. Gotta wonder if it's clobbering time. Oh, it just might be. Oh, oh, my watch broke. running the ropes here. Whoa, getting risk getting caught there. Ooh. these men reversing each other like there's no tomorrow. Indeed. I will keep it against the ropes.
Bobby Roode seeming to set the, the stage for this match so far. Whoa! Oh! Oh, the double underhook into the power bomb. Oh, getting a two count. We put that out of my way, didn't we? Oh, yeah. tossed out of the ring by Roode. Up and down across the back, Christ. Had some good matches so far on Eclipse. I mean, mine being the best, obviously, but the others have been pretty good too. Indeed, been a terrific show. Certainly, not one to miss. Indeed, of course. Tomorrow night going to be full of action. Got four title matches. God damn. Oof. Champions got to put the work in. Indeed. The three count Bobby Roode on the outside just getting in. Oh, and takes a knee straight to the head. Jack Dillinger potentially calling for the end. Uh oh. Oh, and there's the RKO. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, he's improved since the last time I have seen him. Wow, okay, that's a big deal. Just paid straight from the Viper's playbook. Straight. Matchup. Of course, the first of our two uh, tag team matches to finish off the show. Quite the vision taken on the Young Bucks. Ugh. Young Bucks. Ugh. They always sucked. Who? The Bucks. They always sucked. Oh, well, that's true. You did uh, recruit uh, one of your faction mates and have to take them to task. Did in quite dominant fashion, if I remember correctly. You did. So, should be very interesting to see how they go here against the Monster and a price combo of a Yuki and Mr. R. So, should be quite a match, of course. Mr. R, bit of a buffoon. <laughs> As always. Uh, UK actually has some promise, but... I mean... What did you just say, Bucks. then? What? What did you just say before, Young Bucks? Probably one of the best teams. World? No, no, they're not, but before that. I don't know what I said. 
Seems that old age is catching up on your horse. Yeah, I can't remember a goddamn word I say half the time. Really kind of ironic. I get a I get a job at speaking. I don't remember half the words I say. Yeah, very ironic. Maybe you should step in the ring sometime. See how you do. <laughs> Those days mm. are long gone for me. Trust. Yeah. All right. I'll take your word for it. So uh, now the UK and Mr. Armick in the way of the ring. Looking like a pair of jabronis. Not that many opinions. No. I mean like I'm I'm not one to bury fools, but like Mr. R he's a he's a proper tosser. Uh yeah, right tosser. I'll happily see. I'd happily see him buried to use one of those insider terms. <laughs> insider terms. What are you laughing at, boy? <laughs> I'm, 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 they, I am laughing at your reference. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to just tell him to cut the ad break here. We'll come back when we actually, when the Young Bucks make their entrance. And speaking of, we're back from ad break, and here come the Young Bucks. This is why we're on one cent per episode. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting paid? Uh, yeah. I'm not, goddamn. I'm doing no, this shit as charity. Why, why the fuck you here then? I'm old. It's yeah. hard for me to get a ride anywhere. I yeah. sneak into the trucks, that's all. That's about it. Yeah, don't blame you, house. I mean, here's me sat here, about a billionaire, but oof. The boss said something about, <laughs> said not paying people for e-fed garbage. Yeah, I mean some Otherwise, some people, Hoss, some people even take it one that uh, one step further in stupidity by threatening to sue you over e-fed funds. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Even funnier when they never even had them anything in the first place. Oof. Some things. Oof. I was told to get mad about that, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Mr. R now tagged in. Oh, well, Mr. R got taken a task by Matt Jackson. Dropping elbows on me. Uh, Mr. R is getting his ass kicked. Good. Tag team action out the box. You can come in, laying out one of the bucks, and leaving. Tired of getting the ass kicked out of him. Tags in a Yuki. Ooh. 
Tiger driver into the pin. Oh. There's a UK holding his own. And Dickie sells his own. Give credit where credit is due. Do some damage. Run into his corner. And we're going to get some tag team action, it would seem. Oh. Leaping. Spike. Who's that? Alright. Mr. R can hold the cover. Gotta be fair. Mr. Wright now giving up the advantage. Oh, kicked to the side of the head. Draw needs to make some big moves, otherwise he's gonna lose this for his team. Right. Well, some tag action here. Whoa, we're seeing a more bang for your buck. Uh oh. And a UK legal. Chokes him from Miss Rar. Here we go. Could be looking for another spike pile driver. Those hot. Plus the experience. Those hot. Oh. There we go. Even the UK can't keep the bucks down here. UK looking for something big. Dropping the navel looks like it might have hurt it on the way down. Trio of suplexes. A cross jacket. Oh, two, oh, kicks out. Oh. Just a little um, swift kick to the head. Nick Jackson and for Matt Jackson it looks like oh muscle buster oh 
Could that be it? Could be. Oh. Oh, the UK. Oh, a swift kick to Mr. R. Get out of my brain. Maybe not everything is fine with the vision. Could be looking for another muscle buster. Oh god, not another. No. Oh. Oh. Man, well, Yuki's turning this into a one man show. For real. Yuki wins the match for his team. Congratulations. Well-deserved victory. For Yuki, definitely. Mr. R, I'm not sure he deserves that win. I mean... You know... Mr. R... He's something, but... Yeah. We're going to have next match up, of course, one of your, the banes of your existence, the, uh, the, the four, facing off with Edge and Christian. This shall be interesting. Of course, Mr. Yuck and Mac Fafita made some comments prior to the match, talking about how they're, uh, they're going to be, something's going to change. Don't know what exactly is going on in the mind Ooh. of the New Age Brain Busters at the moment. No idea. It seems that I don't think they know what they're doing. Be interesting to see how they handle this match. Should be indeed. Should be quite interesting to see. As we head to the arena, of course, this is our main event. It's going to be a great main event too. Two great teams. She put on an amazing match.
Wait, Mage and Christian coming out separately? Ooh. Wait, what? That's odd. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Not a good sign. It's not. Oh wait, Edge and Christian seem gonna make a start of it already. God. <clears throat> Mr. Yuck running wild on Edge right now. Ed and Christian getting the final blow, it seems. As you're heading to his match. Indeed. Soon to have the upper hand. And the bells will run, the match is official. I'm still concerned that Edge and Christian didn't come out together. That that tells you something. They definitely attacked the New Age Brain Busters together. Indeed. We'll be looking for it here. Oh uh, yes, it looks like it's the Brain Buster. Here we go. Oh, oh. right on. Oh, an edge kicks out of two. Oh, come on. The referee's been laid out. Edge was laid out by Yuck. Mr. Yuck, Mac clearly not happy with the referee's call. 
I wouldn't be. That ref's a stooge. Tongue and death grip on edge. Just puts down edge with no remorse. None at all. Mackin, you got pissed off. Definitely not a place anyone would desire to be. Uh -huh. And Edge and Christian came out divided and then got split in two regardless by the New Age Brain Busters. Two very pissed off men. Things are changing and I don't want to be in their way. No. Thank you. That has been all from Eclipse Pro Wrestling Constellation for tonight. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Appreciate the jet lagged Chris Cruz for joining us on commentary. Very greatly no appreciated. I've been Haas. Any last words, Mr. Cruz? Uh, no, just been a pleasure to be here, minus the fact that I'm tired as hell. Indeed. Greatly appreciate all your efforts. And we'll catch you tomorrow night with Steven Anderson, Lock Keys, and God knows who we'll have. I believe it either is going to be Hands or Mr. Love at the desk tomorrow for our four title match Eclipse Pro card. Tune in. Goodbye. Tune in, folks. And I believe Mr. Cruz can finish that for us. A good night. All right.